Good morning people, I'm Jonas and today I'll be doing sort of a shorter video uh, because if you watch my dynamic maps and um, the changes in complexity that I did mostly with Battlefield 4 examples um, I didn't really have any sort of neutral uh, changes or any good examples of neutral changes so I went back into UDK and as you can see this is uh, UDK 3 because as I started this I didn't have access to the public tools um, for Unreal 4 so I can show it if I made it there um, so this is sort of a blast from the past video um, and if I just jump into the game or the map here as you can see it has a few dynamic parts um, so the middle here goes sort of up and down and you see the stairs change as well this uh, bridge goes back and forth between that rotating bit and uh, straight ahead now unfortunately I can't run across these because I haven't made anything with uh, collision because all of these brushes uh, have sort of funky shapes they take uh, very badly to the automated generated uh, collision bits uh, but I'll just run through the map and show you a few of the different examples that I came up with. Um, so this is just sort of a cross-shaped uh, walls going back and forth between the two different states and as you can see there's no collision. Um, so it just sort of creates this uh, dynamic cover basically. Um, I was actually intending to do uh, walls that went up and down as well but then I sort of came to think of I think it was Unreal 2004 that had walls um, that actually became solid as you moved up to them um, so that means that let's say this left wall here was one of those walls that would mean that if you just ran along the edge here it would be opaque um, meaning you can't see through it and you can't shoot through it but if you ran on the right side here you could shoot through it so it was sort of a wall that either you could run along it and sort of give away your position because um, it would show your outline on the wall or you could run along the other edge and shoot through it which I thought was really nifty and I don't see why it didn't catch on you can make floors out of it and everything as well and then you have uh, another part here so this wall is moving, that wall is moving, that wall is moving, so it basically becomes these different areas um, as you run up and down. Um, so this is sort of a basic, basic stuff. This goes up and down, so you can jump to the edge, but as I said, there is no collision. Um, so it's just these sort of different uh, dynamic things. I was originally intending to make the stairs here, here uh, so that this part sort of went down to the ground and the middle part went up instead and switched back and forth. Um, I just I didn't really have the time because it doesn't feel that important. Um, but yeah, so here's the central part and I can run along it because there's a brush at the bottom here and it sort of switches back and forth between the two sides and you can uh, the stairs change as well because uh, you have to be able to sort of switch sides it looks pretty cool in my opinion and then we have the rotating bit here uh, that includes stairs that make it possible to go to the top so either it's uh, sort of this way which makes the center part more open at the bottom here or it goes this way and it makes this side part so you can run along and then I have stairs here um, and then it also switches at the top so either it's this way where you have to sort of jump across and the center is closed or it's open this way and you can run along the bridge at the middle here um, now you don't obviously have to change it this fast because it's probably a bit too fast um, The up and downy bits in the middle here could move faster make it easier to 
jump up uh, because uh, yeah when the bridge is to the right here obviously you can't ride the left one up because then you won't be able to jump across and then for my last sort of example uh, I have a few pieces over here that also change um, so these are as you can see there are three pieces it's the floor that wall and that wall um, and they basically move in different directions um, to create sort of weird patterns and I can go through and as you can see it's also down on floor level here it also changes um, I should probably have it a bit different I think it's the wrong way around at the moment because this piece should be blocking here when uh, that bit is open um, so yeah these are just a few uh, sort of concept pieces to show you what it could look like um, this map is obviously not finished but I actually do intend to make sort of a more finished map because as I went along with this um, it sort of caught my inspiration or whatever you want to call it um, it feels pretty cool actually to work with though I would not really recommend too many of these big uh, spinny bits just because they take up so much more space when they spin um, so what I intend to do with my next project which I will make in Unreal 4 now that it's available is that I will have sort of one of these big center pieces and instead I will sort of move it around in a square so there will be four uh, different states and the center part will sort of move around like this um, blocking off different bits and uh, opening up paths to others um, and in this case I also made it uh, maybe a bit too obvious that uh, you're supposed to be able to get to all the positions all the time which is obviously not a requirement um, you can have some paths that just open up into uh, dead ends well not dead ends but just sort of leaps of faith like running just off the edge here um, so yeah a uh, shorter video today just showing you sort of what I think about the sort of neutral changes um, you can obviously create a map with this though I wouldn't really recommend um, creating all the maps like this it's just something that can give it a bit more variation so thanks for watching and I will probably be making another Unreal 4 blueprint video next